Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. Just picked up this Micron 7300 Pro, 2.5 inch, Gen 3 x 4 NVMe SSD. It does have a U2 connection or U.2, which I've seen phased out in the commercial or excuse me, consumer level market, but they're still being utilized in the server scale. With something like this, trying to connect it to a modern computer or even an old school computer, you might need to get an adapter, which converts the U.2 to PCI Express by 4, I believe this is what this is. Uh, so you make sure you, if, if your motherboard is compatible with this because most of them will be by 16 slots or by one slots not a by four but you can always put this into a by 16 slot so if you're running dual v GPUs something like that just make sure that you got the capacity or the room to add this card in there so let's get this put into the system and then we'll get on the main computer and start seeing how it performs so we got the system booted up. First thing I like to do is go to the start menu, right click and go to disk management. This is gonna open up a main window. Of course it's moving off to the side, but it's gonna open up a main window and uh, a smaller pop-up window will show up that says initialize disk. Let me see if I can move it over. And in here, you just want to select the disk and then choose your partition style. You can just hit okay. And of course, on the main disk management window, our new drive should show up at the very bottom and we need to set it up. So you're gonna right click, new simple volume, hit next. And then I use the full space, but you can partition it or do whatever you want. You can either mount or add a drive letter. In my case, I'm gonna add a drive letter and give it a name. And then we will be able to use this drive on our Windows system. And now on screen, I have some performance metrics for you guys. Uh, you're going to see that the Micron drive over here in Hardware Info shows us that we hit a overall peak read speed of uh, 3,600 megabytes per second or 3.6 gigabytes per second. The writes hit uh, almost 2 gigabytes per second or 2,000 megabytes per second. And then we have the various tests in front of you. Now, some of these versions are outdated, but I hung on to them because I use benchmarking for various uh, resources and, and testing of client systems. But we got Anvil Storage, AS SSD, ADO Disk, March, uh, Disk Benchmark, and Crystal Disk. So you can see on Crystal Disk here in the bottom, we hit about 3,000 reads, 1,600 writes. But in ADO, we were able to get 1.82 gigabytes per second or 18 uh, 1820 megabytes per second in the writes while we got 3.32 gigabytes per second on the read so a little bit more than what crystal's showing and then we even got less under AS SSD and Anvil uh, so 2000 or 2200 reads 1600 writes and same thing something similar here we got uh, about 2100 reads 1600 writes if you're plotting on Chia the overall writes that you're having to do will wind up hurting your drives. And let me show you what I mean here. So first off, we're gonna look at some of the drives that I have in this system. And I do have a four terabyte drive that's already full with plots. I have a 12 terabyte drive that I keep from my media and has some plots on it. I have a Corsair MP600, which is my main C drive, which I do not recommend plotting on in case you do run that drive ragged. I have a Crucial P12, uh, P2, both of these, by the way, are one terabyte. I have an 850 Evo, which is for my gaming drive. I have a Western Digital 850, which is a two terabyte drive. And then here's the Micron drive, around two terabytes of thereabouts. Now, inside hardware info, which you always want to monitor, is a lot of good data that you need to pay attention to. Use common sense and watch these drives life, especially if you're plotting on what you have and you do not have a, su a sufficient drive to create all these plots. For example, the 850 Evo is only is down to about 91%, dropped 9% uh, by plotting around 90 terabytes of data. Moving down the Corsair MP600, it's already down to 86%, and that's after plotting 130 terabytes of information or data. Another thing with these NVMe drives is pay attention to the temperatures. The peak temperature during this system setup or right now hits 62C, but I have seen a peak of 75C because the GPU is right below it mining. On the Western Digital 850N, we only dropped 1% after plotting 25 terabytes. On the Crucial P2, we dropped 6% after plotting 
30 terabytes. But if we scroll down even further, our drive for the Micron 7300 Pro, 53 terabytes or about, has not dropped at all. This drive not only has good speeds, as you can see on your screen, but good endurance. And that is what you really want. Now, Seth Estrada from Mind Your Biz and a couple others have a very good point. A bunch of SAS drives, which are really cheap, in RAID will get the job done, have decent speeds, and you know can, can help you out. Me, personally, I don't have a setup to do so, so I would need to either get a, like a little server or a new chassis to be able to run those various drives and stuff like that. That may be something in the future, but not right now, considering my budget. But the alternatives out there are NVMe drives or regular SATA SSDs. But there's one more thing that you're not looking at. In my last video, uh, I believe a website called ChiaDecentral.com. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll have it linked down below. That's where I found where the Micron Pro 7300 or 7300 Pro is actually listed as one of the recommended drives or one of the drives that are pretty good in the budget oriented category i paid 350 for that drive and the samsung 980 pro with two terabyte is 430 bucks now the 980 pro does from my understanding and what people have told me have good endurance but one of the biggest things that people are bumping into or not understanding with nvme drives is when your drive is actually plotting it will fill the cache and once the cache fills up your drive will drop as far as performance for example the crucial p2 when that cache is full that drive will drop to about 150 megabytes per second writes slower than normal SATA speed so like a normal SATA drive is around 500 megabytes per second the crucial p2 would drop below that the corsair will even drop below that once the cache is full it would drop to normal ssd speeds maybe not as bad as the crucial p2 but it will, it will drop significantly hampering performance slowing your plot times the western digital 8 sn 850 is okay but it has the same issue so it's all about finding the right drive that has the 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 capability for creating these plots but sustain the speeds that you need to create these plots quickly there are two terabyte alternatives out there like a regular 2.5 inch ssd uh with two terabytes is 200 bucks uh, now the 850 Evo has not given me any problems and does a pretty good job. The biggest uh, downfall with my drive is it's only a 500 gigabyte drive, so I can plot maybe one to two drive, uh, two plots at a time, but it does eat into the endurance, while the Micron drive just keeps going. Now eventually that endurance will drop little by little, but compared to Gen 3, Gen 4 NVMe drives, there are other alternatives that you can look at that will get the job done. I'm going to link it down below, the, M, the, the, the link to the various components in which you can get, like enterprise SSDs, so great speed, they are NVMe, but the connectors might be a little bit different, which is where the adapters come in, right? So that, that green PCB adapter, U.2 adapter to PCIe by 4 is something that you can get and convert these drives to connect. Now, it really depends on your system, but you want to make sure that it is compatible for example i ran out of pcie slots on this system actually what i found out is the bottom by 16 slot when there's an m.2 drive in that bottom m.2 slot the bottom pcie pcie slot does not work so i had to move it up and now it's right below the graphics card it's not uh, impeding the airflow for the msi trio but it is something that is concerning to me however the temperatures has not gotten too bad uh, when we look at the Micron drive, and I scroll up here, let me look for it real quick. The max temperature was 55, which isn't bad whatsoever, compared to NVMe drives that can get 72, 75 C, depending on the airflow of your case and what it's next to. But there are other options out there to help you extend the life of your other NVMe drives. Do not buy an NVMe drive and plot everything you can on it and rip right through the endurance. If you do do that and you go right through the endurance or life of that drive, please recycle responsibly. Look up your local uh, recycling centers and recycle your electronics responsibly. Don't just throw it away. But with the data in front of you, we can see this drive has good writes and reads, not Gen 4 level writes and reads,
but it has good writes and reads, not like a normal SSD. It's like Gen 3 type. And great endurance. It's on the recommended list or, or budget-oriented list on Chia Decentral. Again, link in the description. And it will help me save the life of my other NVMe drive. So it's a win-win for me in my scenario. Uh, maybe when I have a, a, an expanded budget, I'll be able to get a server set up with a bunch of SAS drives. Not right now, though. Uh, I have other focuses I need to do. But in a future video, I will be talking about plotting in parallel, what I've learned, and stuff like that. I am still learning with you guys. There's a lot of OGs and people in the Chia farming space that have shared information with me, and I greatly appreciate that, and I couldn't, I couldn't thank you enough. So continue to do that in the comments of these videos, and I will continue to learn with you, and I hope to share my data and information with you in a future video that may help someone out there. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please do me a favor. Hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for additional content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.